Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Peugeot Partner. It's 100% electric. It's got the 22 kilowatt hour battery pack. The batteries are owned, so there's no lease payments like there are with the Renault vans. And these vans are really nicely specced. They have DC rapid charging, air conditioning, and three seats up front. It's the only electric van with three seats. Uh, apart from uh, the LDV uh, van, but they're, they're obviously a much larger van and uh, six times the price of one of these. So let's, uh, well, let's talk about charging first. So here we have the AC charging port. So this is a 16 amp charger. So this is what you would use at base, home, or on public uh, seven kilowatt charging post typically. And then round the side, at the back, you have got a DC Chatamo port. So this is 50 kilowatt rapid charging. So this is what you typically use on the motorway network, on the Ecotricity rapid chargers. And this will uh, give this fan a charge to about 80% in 20, 25 minutes. So, um, well, let's just show you the rear end the cargo area and the charging cable. So here we have charging cables, type one to type two. So that is what you would use on your charging port at the front, the slow charging, the AC charging. And this is a portable charger. So you can charge this fan on a normal three pin plug. So ideal if you're out on site during the day, you can give it a top up or you can obviously charge from home on the portable charger, but included in this is the home charger, the Rolex 32 amp charger. So you will charge at 60% quicker than that. Um, and then obviously when you use a DC rapid charging on that port on that side, the cable is on the charger, so you don't use these cables. And then up front, this one has got the ladder rack um, protecting the driver. So no solid bulkhead on this one, it's all open. And then these have the three seats up front, so you can fit three adults at a squeeze, but it's great if you've got a child, so you can both go out and have your child in your middle seat. And these seats are quite flexible. So you've got storage under there in the middle seat. You can also drop the middle seat, so it gives you a sort of table for the driver. And then this outer seat lifts up to give you storage on the floor. And then the backrest drops down. So the seat folds flat. And then that gives you a perfectly flat load area there from the back. Ideal for putting long pipes, you know, copper pipes or conduit or stuff like that all the way through. So it does give you a long load bed. So as you've probably seen from my videos, I fully describe the condition. I tend to be very picky and show every little thing I can find. Probably uh, I would point out things that you wouldn't even see if you came to view. But the purpose of that is I don't hide anything. I'm very honest about the condition and it allows people to buy the vehicles without coming to view them because obviously a lot of the time people live a long way. I deliver these all over the country. So uh, it gives people the confidence to buy the vehicles without coming to view and then I deliver them to them. So this one is a late 2015. It's only done 11,000 miles and it is still in like new condition. There really isn't much to point out on this. We'll just have a walk around. The front bumper is scratch free and immaculate. The tires are still like new. I'll put the tire tread depths on the website. Even the um, wheel trims aren't scuffed. And there isn't a dent or scratch on it. It is just immaculate. Um, back wheel trim there and tire all good. There's just two tiny little bits of paint missing. So I am gonna get the touch up stick out and put some primer and top coat on that but I I thought I'll leave it until I've done the video so I'm showing you the condition as it is so there's one little mark there and there's one other uh, which I'll see in a minute but as you can see the plastic bumper is all 
scratch free there's not a mark or dent on the back it's just in really nice condition and then going round to this side wheel trim again is in nice condition oh and here's the second mark a little bit of paint i just need to dab into there um, and that's it it's just in fantastic condition this one and then the uh, front wheel trim there again scratch free and even the mirror caps there's no marks on it just it's just absolutely immaculate this one so uh and then let's just look inside i've got new carpet mats on the floor and the door cards are all mark free and seats are all in really nice condition you know it's only done eleven thousand miles and um, there's no wear and tear showing yet so in the back in the cargo area it is all original as they come from the factory so it hasn't been ply lined you get this plastic cladding on the bottom half and obviously nothing on the top but as you can see it is just in fantastic condition even those little protectors there on the back they usually get punctured but it's just unmarked it really is in nice condition so it's got the original rubber mat on the floor and under that's the normal steel floor let me just go around the side and i can lift the mat here there as you can see original steel floor underneath it's all really nice condition so you can obviously leave the mat down or you can uh, lift that and screw down apply floor and then looking on the inside here we've got a single slot uh, stereo and cd player you've got a display up here you've got climate um, air conditioning nice thing with these vans is when you apply some heat and the fans have now cannot come on a needle here shows you how much energy you're using to produce that heat because the heater will um, use energy from your traction battery and then if i use the buttons on the stalk up there on the screen we can see that it's going to use seven miles of range to produce the heat so uh, very nice system and again if we turn it around to cold and it's now got the air conditioning on and we'll see now the needle has dropped because uh, it doesn't need quite so much energy to use the air conditioning as it does to actually generate heat so a nice little system uh, let's just turn that off so we've got uh, electric windows locking for the back 12 volt socket there um, being an, auto, um, an electric vehicle it doesn't have a gearbox so we have a, an automatic type selector here effectively this is just a switch what that does is give you lots of room here for the middle passenger's legs um, and then we've got cup holders over there they're in the door bins on the partner glove box you also have this storage box behind your dash here and um, oh and, and down here we've got electric mirrors uh, and traction control and headlight adjustment we've also got steering uh, a contr audio controls here on the back of the steering wheel and then obviously wipers lights and down here there is also uh, cruise control and um, I don't know whether that's speed limiter as well as cruise control and uh, it looks like it's just cruise control and a uh, very simple dash so you have a power needle so a bit like a bit like a rev gauge on a petrol car really but uh, when you're driving you, you the needle will move up here so you want to keep it as as far over this side as you can around here is full power and then when you lift off the brakes and you're getting that regen braking so the motor effectively is charging the battery to slow you down the needle drops into the blue area here to show you charge and obviously you want to maximize that the regen braking on the partners is very strong as soon as you lift off the accelerator it will slow to a complete stop and you genuinely can drive without ever touching the brakes you would only touch them to hold it once you've stopped or obviously an emergency and then here we've got the mileage 11,842 miles and here we've got the estimated range currently showing 57 miles um, you can get more than that this one hasn't really been driven properly yet um, 
and uh, it's obviously very cold today. Um, so that that's sort of worse. Well, again, this is an estimate. So um, worst case scenario, you're going to get about 65 miles out of these. Best case in the summer, uh, roughly about 85, maybe 90 miles. That's a sort of typical range. Um, so I think that's about all I really need to show you on the inside. Oh, let's show you the paperwork. Let me just turn off the engine. And here we've got the paperwork. This one does have two remote keys. And it's an ex lease plan vehicle and there's no previous keepers. And then here we've got the registration date is the 1st of the 10th, 2015. Taxation class is electric. And uh, I've just had it MOT'd. So the expiry date of the MOT is the 2nd of December 2019. So 12 months MOT, obviously. And the MOT was done at 11,839 miles. So it's only done a mile, a couple of miles back from the MOT station. And then here we have a service history print uh, and at 9,177 miles in October 2017, it had a service. And as you probably know with these, they don't really need servicing. The only serviceable part is a pollen filter. And then here we've got the original books, handbook, service book, and then the electric supplement, everything to do with the electric vehicle there because the handbook is geared more towards the uh, diesel version. And I don't think the service book has been stamped, even though it has had a service. No, it hasn't been stamped. Um, but there we've got the original information for this van. So it's the original service book, but not stamped, which is pretty typical for a leased vehicle. Um, so yeah, all the paperwork there that you would expect to see. So just to recap, this van is a late 2015 with the new front end. It's only done 11,000 miles. It's got a new MOT. And uh, if you're after an electric van, then really they don't come better than this because this has got that DC rapid charging, three seats up front, a large cargo area, um, air conditioning. They only cost about uh, roughly three pounds to charge depends on your charge rate. If you're going to charge at an economy seven, then you're looking at, uh, I can't do the math in my head, but something like a pound 50. And um, obviously there's no road tax and there's no London congestion charge. So very cheap to run. And uh, servicing is minimal as well. Um, there's no serviceable parts on them. Uh, you just need an MOT really. Once they're out of warranty, you don't bother servicing them. The only serviceable part is the uh, pollen filter. And then every four or five years, you change the brake fluid. Um, and you also change the 12 volt battery about every four or five years, and that's it. Uh, I have tested the 12 volt battery up front and charged it, and that's all good. It's actually very good on this one um so yeah there's there's nothing needed on it so uh, as you probably know from my website all my vehicles include a rolex 32 amp home charger that's completely free and installed so there are terms and conditions to that uh, but majority of people don't pay anything for the installation and that normally takes two to three weeks to get installed but obviously this one has got that portable charger in the back there so you can charge this on a normal three pin plug it does take longer but it will always be charged by the morning and of course you can use that portable charger to charge this fan up when you're at work as well so um, yeah if you're interested then give me a call or email and as i've said i can deliver these anywhere in the country